I want to talk about FameBit. FameBit is an awesome website that I ended up finding out about while I was at Playlist. And uh, FameBit actually connects YouTubers like myself and you, if you create content, um, to brands around the internet. The excellent part is that FameBit kind of bridges that area, that gap, so the, uh, the brands can find you without an issue. And, uh, and you can pretty much sell yourself in a way and telling the brands that you are the best YouTuber for the, the project. So I wasn't sure what to think of FameBit, especially because I had never used it. I had never really heard about it until I got to Playlist. And after I watched one of their, um, their little examples and uh, I watched one of their panels and everything that they were talking about and some of the people that are using FameBit, it made a lot of sense to join this this uh, website. So I got home and I joined it and I read everything to make sure it wasn't a scam and it's not, it's actually really, really good. Um, and you go into FameBit and then it pretty much judges the way that people are going to see you based on like your subscriptions and how many views you have per week. I mean, it has all these really cool things, which is actually pretty awesome. And uh, you need, I think it's a minimum of a thousand subscribers to join the, the website. Um, double check on that, but I'm pretty sure. But I had a bit more than that, so it wasn't an issue to join. But then you go into the sponsorships area after you have created your account. And uh, that's where you're going to see all these brands looking for your help. And looking for anybody who's a content creator to actually help them um, sponsor, I mean pretty much get this product out into the market. So if it's um, a selfie stick or if it happens to be a camera or anything like that, the company might be a big name company that you know about already or it might be a very small or a no-name company that they're just trying to get their product out to the masses. So FameBit pretty much makes it open for you to figure out what you want to, who do you want to work for, and uh, and talk to all these brands and then you have to make a proposal and then they will pick you if you are the one for their brand. The nice thing about this is, is that you can do as many as you want at once and then you can sort of wait and see what happens. The nice thing is, is the website is so well done that they will tell you when somebody's actually responded to you. If the proposal disappears in general, that means the website, I mean the uh, company has seen your proposal and it just does not work with them. So uh, don't get discouraged, I would say just uh, keep typing in new proposals because I did that until I got a response from one of them. Uh, one of the companies actually liked my stuff but they didn't think I was perfect for, for me to be advertising their product for the video that they were looking for but they're still sending me the product to review and just give away. It's just that when you create a proposal you also tell them how much money you would like to be paid for the video. So there will be ranges that sometimes are from like $100 to like $300 and sometimes it's from $500 to $1,000 and they kind of go all over the place. So it comes down to you to set a price for your video and how much you think you should be getting paid for the video. So it just I would say just be careful at first when you're new to it, um, not to set such a high price I guess, um, until you have enough videos like under your belt and then you know that you can provide a better service and, uh, and charge and you can yeah, get paid a bit better, a bit better later on. Um, I actually started kind of low and then that way I got um, attention from different brands that way um, just because I do like their products and I want to create um, a review, a review video for them. The nice thing is this isn't just tech. This is for makeup, this is for food, this is for, I mean, there is a ton of technology in there. I mean, there is everything. So if you are a reviewer or you are not, and you just want to be connected to brands, check FameBit out. It's just FameBit.com and you can create your own um, name and have everything linked there. And then make sure that you grab your FameBit uh, link and put it on your YouTube and show people and everything. It's actually a really cool place to connect with people. But the best thing about FameBit, which I loved, is um, an area called Collaborations, and you can connect with other FameBit people, which are other YouTubers, and they are looking to connect with others 
for videos, to find friends, uh, people in the area. Anytime that they want to get together and create a video or just pretty much shoot ideas back and forth, you can find them in the collaboration area. So you can send them a proposal and uh, see if they want to work with you. So the, the place just joins a lot of YouTubers together and it has a sense of community and it totally works. It's just that you have to give it some time for it to, to really work how you want it to. You can't just go in there and go, well, I'm going to get paid. $500 for this video, I'm gonna pay a thousand for that video just because I make excellent reviews or anything like that. Don't expect that because you probably are not gonna get paid. Uh, I mean, be, be humble and tell them how much you like the product. And uh, the other thing is, is that I heard this about another YouTuber, just to keep it in mind. Do not review a product and lie to your fan base or your customers or anybody that you're trying to sell this product to. If the video, I mean, if the product in the video is terrible, just do not review it. And if you are going to review it, just kind of decline payment. I mean, I would feel terrible if somebody sent me a camera and I'm reviewing it and it's just terrible. And, uh, and then I'm demanding payment. Um, what a lot of people do is if the product is generally just low quality, return it and then the they won't pay you for the video, but you, you'll be out of having to completely uh, finish anything. So it's one thing to keep in mind, be honest with the people that you're selling to um, or the people that you want to show, especially like friends and stuff. Like you don't want to tell them like, this product is great. I just want to get paid $200 for this and I don't care what happens to you with it, but yay. Um, no, I'd rather tell you like this product wasn't very good um, I'm not getting paid for this video. This wasn't awesome. Um, and why it wasn't great, because I'd rather be honest about something because for me, YouTube has been that for me. It's been honest when it comes to uh, products and everything because I go to YouTube first when I need help with the house, when I need help with my computer, when I need help with anything. So I would like it to stay like that so I'm not going to contribute in a negative manner. But go to FameBit, create an account, meet people, go ahead if you want to send me a message. I would love to do stuff with other YouTubers in the area or in other states. So check it out, FameBit.com. You can find me in FameBit and look for Latin Vixen. Bye guys, I hope this was interesting and I hope you learned a little bit.